Hey guys, I'm back with a quick video on uh, Raspberry Pi. I'm going to go on and re reinstall the operating system on it. Uh, Raspberry Pi is a small little computer, Linux box, Linux uh, based operating system. So basically what you could do is connect it to a big monitor and it will function just like a regular computer and do a lot of things. People who use it for file shares or media players or streaming videos, however. And I personally use it for file share and sometimes I RDP to it so I can serve the web without worrying about a lot of stuff which I have antivirus install on it etc. So my Raspberry Pi was acting up this little device right here. You could google it and purchase it on Amazon or on eBay or any other internet resources. You can buy one, play with it, they probably range from 23 to fifty sixty dollars depends on what do you want to have in the raspberry pi do you want to have the heat sink additional heat sink in case you're going to use it for heavy duty or you just want to use it bare bones and man has a heat sink and additional heat sink and um, it's a small little thing you put it on right on the top and also got the uh, additional memory for it etc so works for me it's pretty good so let's go on and uh, take a look so we'll be checking the version after the installation and make sure it's not uh, executed on uh, some kind of uh, so let's go on and switch through my windows and see what is up i will start my device in a minute and of course it's going to be a black screen and then from there we will uh, proceed with, with the installation Remember, the reason I'm reinstalling mine is because it just was acting up. I, I don't have much data on it. I said, let's go on and reinstall it. There we go. I just unplugged it, and I'm going to go on and hold down the Shift key. It is right there. I'm going to go on and pause that little sh section one more time. Let's go back to it, and I want to make sure that we get we capture it. To capture the little moment, so basically we're going to hold down the Shift key. Hold it down, it will take you to a menu, and from there we will proceed with the rest of the installation. Here we go. As soon as I release the shift key, of course it went to the, the menu and already connected to Wi-Fi. Make sure you connect to Wi-Fi or LAN. Here we go. It's the first option I picked. Install. Everything will be overwritten as the warning says. And dear friend, remember as I indicated earlier, make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi or LAN. So that way you will not have any trouble. I'll pause this video here and there. So that way it will save you a lot of time watching it and getting what you need. Zero percentage. So any other installation we have to wait all the way to 100 and then do the rest. As you saw on the first slide, uh, the, the device is so little tiny thing, so basically connect to the wall and then to your network and hold down the shift key and that is it. All right, we are at fourteen percent, and we will wait till it gets all the way. Finish up the rest of installation, downloading, extracting, and this and that. That's still proceeding. Let's go and leave it on. I want to skip it, so maybe now and then I'll pause. Right, we are almost there. Showing showing you a few glances of the of the thing that will install the program, the stuff. So it'll be more educational to leave leave it on, so you know what is being installed, etc. I remember last time when I was uh, doing uh, an installation for one of these. It just 
stuck on the hundred percent for like five or six or seven minutes. So don't be surprised in case it gets stuck right there. That doesn't mean something went wrong. That means it's just finalizing. Hundred percent. It's just gonna sit there for a few minutes to wrap up everything, and then after this, we should be home free and uh, ready to go and load our. system and uh, go on and enable other features such as RDP, you can remote your Raspberry Pi, you can put it somewhere by the router or your wireless uh, device, put it right there and you can remote to it and just treat it like any other computer, totally isolated. There we go, it's finished. As you see it, it's indicate right there beneath for recovery mode, hold down shift. We're not going to hold it down anymore because we already installed the OS. That is in case something uh, in the future you want to go on and say, I want to go and redo my Raspberry Pi. And we're going to click on that. And we're going to see a lot of messages, a lot of check marks for installation successful. And uh, that would be it. After this loads, we're going to follow a few more steps such as choosing our language, keyboard preference, time. And it may do some updates as well. Which we could also go later on after the updates and get our updates. Meanwhile, we're just going to settle down with what default is available at the moment. And I do highly recommend you installing antivirus on your Raspberry Pi. As you see, it is just a nice GUI interface. I could have uh, demonstrated this on a VM environment, but I said, you know what, let's go on and do it on my actual Raspberry Pi. And then later time, I will probably show you how to add the file share, etc. As you see right here, we have to choose a password for security purposes, just like your Windows 7, Windows 10, or whatever OS you have. Choose a password and that way nobody else just no unauthorized access will be allowed. But anyways, the username is PI, as you see it at the very right top. It says Raspberry Pi, so always remember, username is PI. I'm already connected to my Wi-Fi at 786, as you see it. I did that initially when I rebooted it, etc. So. I could have skipped the software update, but then why not? What the hell? Let's go on and proceed the update as well. Get the latest, the greatest, all the goodies, patches, etc. Those will be crucial to secure our device. Indeed, it does take a moment, so I pause the video here and there to save you time. Here we go, the installation is over, pretty much you can just uh, remote to your device and or log in actually to your device, connect the keyboard and a mouse and etc. Dear friend, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I promise you I'll get you new good stuff as well. Thank you very much and by the way, before I let you go, let us let me show you the inside of the Raspberry Pi, just logging into it and browsing internet etc. Here we go, we are just logging in and uh, as I mentioned, you have to enable the the RDP. I'll show you how later, or I may even put that uh, as a command prompt at the bottom in the description. How to run a few command and enable RDP. Let's go log in, take a look. 
as you see it, everything is right there. So pretty much this is our Raspberry Pi program, etc., etc. All of these goodies are right there. So I'd enable VNC. I don't like VNC much, so I'm going to go on and remove it later on. So you could, um, you could play with it. And thank you very much for watching it. And I will get you more information on the Linux box. And let's go on and have a great evening.